Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Union Atlas Pro. I rode this binding at Copper Mountain on a day that had overcast skies, sleet, snow, slush, rain, chop, chunder, perfect corduroy, and I rode it with my Ride Shadow Band snowboard and my K2 Thraxxus boots. When it comes to adjustability, you have push pins on the toe strap, which means you can push down, slide back or forward, and then pull up and lock it in to center it over the boot. Then on top of that, you have a twist tab for the toe strap that you can just unscrew, push it down, slide it in, slide it out to help center it, tighten it back down. With the heel strap, it's on a dual pin system, and this takes more force than you think to get to pop off. Now with that said, Will these break down over time? I don't know, but I do want to believe that without a locking mechanism on there, they could have some issues down the road. With the heel cup, it is on a dual set screw. So basically you have to loosen that up, slide the heel cup out or push it in depending where you need that placement for your boot. With the foot pad being able to slide forward or backwards as well to help center underneath it. When it comes to the heel strap adjustability, it is also tied to the high back rotation. So when you loosen that screw, you can kind of center the high back parallel to your heel edge, if that's your thing, why you do that. And you can also move that heel strap around based on how that heel cup is sitting in there. With the high back, you don't have a forward lean tab. You have a dial, which takes more effort to dial in. So if you're hoping to do that on the fly, that is gone, just be aware of that. The heel strap is Union's XO Frame 5.0. This is going to be more rigid. You're going to feel that it has no padding because, well, the way it's designed, all the padding will come from your boot. This will contour over the instep and hold you down securely and allow you to drive into it. The tighter you make it, the stronger it tends to get with just the way that it is designed. With the toe strap, it is the TS 4.0 strap. I love this strap. It is a huge cutout it will fit a multitude of boot shapes just because of how big that cutout is. It's very minimal. You barely even notice that it's cranked down on you. Some people do not like this toe strap. I don't know why, heathens, I like it. When it comes to the ratchets, these were a bit sticky. I attribute that more to them being fresh out the box. I think if they were being used more than I did, like maybe 10 days, they would get a little bit easier. One thing I don't like is that quick release tab is so small. I'm just always struggling getting my finger on it. You're more or less gripping the ratchet at the front and pulling up to get it to release. Now with that said, these do crank exceptionally well. You get good torque on them. They lock in, they stay locked in. I never had them prematurely release on. With the high back, it feels a little more rigid than the regular Atlas. You still get a little bit of play out on it towards the ratchet side of it, but then you get a ton of power, which helps you drive into a heel side turn right down the center and from the inside. You don't have a forward lean tab. You have a forward lean dial. It takes more time, as I've already said, to dial it in, so be aware of that. This is a more powerful stiff binding. You feel that power when you drive into that heel strap or into that high back. And as it has a bigger disc, you've got a bigger dead spot that reduces lateral play and gives you more lateral drive. If you like to charge, this is not a bad option for you. This is a slightly more responsive binding than the regular Atlas, but the dampening remains the same. You're gonna feel that micro chatter barely underfoot. The more jarring hits you will feel. So if you're hoping for a binding that's gonna be super damp, this isn't it. But if you're looking for something that's more responsive and has power, then yeah, that's what you're gonna get out of the ride of this. Who's this binding for? The hard charging free ride guy. So I didn't hate this binding. There's a good amount of adjustability with it. It wouldn't be my go-to choice. It's just not for me. It's a very responsive binding, which I like. It's not the most damp out there. One thing that bothered me was how sticky these ratchets were outside the box. They didn't seem to get any easier as the day really went on, but I know if I had used these for multiple days, they would break in. And I attribute it to them being just fresh out the box, like I ripped them out of the plastic that day. Overall though, it's a very solid binding. Comparable bindings, the Now Drive, the Bent Metal Solution, the Ride C10. This has been my review of the Union Atlas Pro. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. 
And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.